Celsius is 392 degrees Fahrenheit. What the frick? Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia, and today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. It's a pet peeve of mine when I ask somebody, how did you do that? And they don't freaking show me. So that's why I'm on here today showing you how to get the waves in your hair. This is like Top Ramen. This is like Beyonce. This is like Justin Timberlake in NSYNC. This is like Weird L Yankovic, anyone? <laughs> Kim Kardashian, that's the number one um, request or comparison that people would say about this hairstyle. The last time I checked, she didn't invent it, but she does wear it very well. So we're gonna go with that. This video is not sponsored, but if someone wants to sponsor me, holler at your girl. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Join my family, and let's get started. I am trying to set up for a video and their freaking gardeners are outside the window. <laughs> Bitch! Oh my god! Just gonna go with it. Just gonna go with it. I'm gonna try to not hyper focus on the fact that they're running over a bunch of rocks, the weed whacker. It's fine! I feel like I would look like a freaking alien with some Botox. My eyes are just humongous. I can't. If you don't have tools, you can definitely braid your hair and sleep like that overnight and then just undo your braids like this. And you will have a wavy situation. Now in my opinion, it's not as pretty and as structured as using a tool. It looks like I just woke up, doesn't it? Let me wash my cheeks, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use a little bit of Davines hair oil and this was $20. And I think I bought it like years ago. All you need is a little bit. I literally just took a dot. And I'm just going to put this in my hair before I blow dry it. Then I'm going to use this wet brush. A lot of people are going to be like, no! I'm going to be using this blow dryer from T3. Um, they sent these to me. I don't have an affiliate link or anything like that to share with you guys, but they're really pretty. And my hair seems to be super shiny and soft after I use this blow dryer. So if you're looking for a new one, check them out. Oh, I'm gonna use the hottest setting. It can smell real funky real quick if I don't dry my roots, okay? So let me get back to it. Oh, God. Now we are going to use this really cool waiver that I found off of Amazon. I'm gonna crank the heat up. It's in Celsius. We're in the US, we don't use Celsius. So Siri. She's always listening, but not right now. 200 degrees Celsius is 392 degrees Fahrenheit. What the frick? Ah! You're going to take a pencil, a knife, <laughs> or a rat tail comb, and make a part down the middle, middle, down the middle, or on this side, this side, in the back, wherever you like your part, girl. I just like it down the middle. Now, if you have thicker hair than me, more hair than me, you definitely want to part and section up your hair, but I really don't, so I'm not going to do that. Top, please don't burn yourself, okay guys? It's hard for me to do this because I'm looking at my viewfinder and not at reality. Okay, so you take this big old mama jamma and you clamp it down. You're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring it downtown, okay? You're gonna bring it down and you're gonna sit in the little groove. See how there's a groove here? That's what you're gonna focus on. When you're moving your curler or waver down, you're gonna put this barrel in one of those grooves. Does that make sense? Boom, right in the groove. You guys see that? Oh my God, my hair is so freaking shiny. I'm impressed. Ow! Then you're gonna take it off and you're gonna bring it down and make sure that barrel goes right into a groove because this can easily get jacked up. This is pretty much how the hair is going to look. Then you're gonna repeat this process all over your head. Watch out for your ears. Anyway. So this is what it looks like after my hair has been completely waved. My hair is really soft and fluffy and obviously super duper shiny. I haven't put anything in it. Now the oil is more of a protectant and as you guys saw, I only used like a really, really small little dot because it's super powerful. Um, so I do recommend using a heat protectant. 
Um, as far as shine goes, I'm just gonna leave it alone because my own oil production is so intense that it's going to weigh my hair down. I don't want that. I want my hair to last in this style for at least two days, right? So I'm going to be adding a little bit of dry shampoo to my roots. I'm using the IGK First Class. This is a charcoal detox dry shampoo. I have mentioned this product in a previous video. I think this might be even my third can. So I just spray this into the roots. It smells really good, but also absorbs any oil. Okay, so now that I've got my makeup on, this is the final look. It's so pretty. It's really resilient to me running my fingers through it, even brushing my hair. Look at that, it goes right back into its shape. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!